Could you talk a bit about the challenges that Canadians face in dealing with, grappling with neurodegenerative diseases? Well, neurodegenerative diseases are, are prevalent in our society at the moment. So there are many Canadians who are currently living with neurodegenerative diseases of all types, ranging from Alzheimer's disease through to, through other dementias to Parkinson's disease, etc. And that issue, that problem is only going to increase. We know that our population is aging. Um, and as our population ages, we will see more individuals affected by these diseases. At the same time, we don't have any disease-modifying treatments. We're making progress in, the, in that area, but we're not there yet. So we're at this, at this point in time where the, the potential burden of neurodegenerative disease will increase tremendously over the next decade. And uh, we really need treatments and solutions. So yeah. there's an urgency to the work that you're both doing. Absolutely. Robbie? Yeah, I mean, this is a very pressing concern. I mean, can, you can imagine 10, 15 percent of the population in another decade needing assistance of some sort. Just the burden of that care, independent of, of any sort of treatment, is enough to bankrupt the country. Yeah. Add on that the, the cost of, of the drugs. So something has to change, and the therapeutics need to change. Um, Early diagnosis needs to change, or early assessment needs to change, otherwise uh, we are in big trouble. Fundamental research is absolutely critical, it really is. You know, we're developing lots of new technologies that are helping us understand the brain better at the molecular and cellular level. There's a great promise for developing treatments um, for brain disease over the next 10 or 20 years.